During the day, the library is an incredibly busy place. Lots of people coming in and out, looking at stuff, doing things. It's about 100 kilometres of shelving. We have seven storeys underground, so it's one of the deepest holes in Sydney. Come night, completely different story. When you're back here late at night, you do wonder sometimes what the noise is. There's no one around. There's an atmosphere here. You do get a sense that maybe the collections are trying to speak to you. Some people don't like going down to the stacks. They think there's a kind of spirit there. They don't want to confront it. They can feel the presence of our greatest benefactor, David Scott Mitchell. And there are many reports of people feeling that they have felt something. The library makes many inexplicable noises and creaks and sounds. And sometimes you think, is someone trying to get into this place? Or are collections trying to get away from this place? When most people think of libraries, they probably think of basically a whole lot of books. We collect much more broadly than books. We have a drop said to be the blood of Charles I. We have death mask of Henry Lawson, locks of Captain Cook's hair, a lock of Mary Shelley's hair, the author of Frankenstein, the confession of a bloke Alexander Pierce who ate seven of his mates in 1822. Just unimaginable, unrivaled collections. Things you're not gonna find anywhere other than the Mitchell Library. One of the most remarkable things in the library's collection is this chest. And the whole chest was put together and given to Governor Macquarie in 1820 or so. You just can't believe that these things are nearly 200 years old. There are these birds that literally look like they could get up and fly away. There's a real kind of tension there between its beauty and the death of the chest. It does seem a bit macabre in a way. We have a death mask that was taken of Henry Lawson, obviously after he died in September 1922. It's something that had touched his face. You feel like you can have a conversation with him, then it is close to Henry as you're ever going to get. You just feel that he's going to suddenly open his mouth and start sprouting a poem at you. I think library collections link the past and the present because they allow you to feel, look at, be part of the past. If a country doesn't have a memory, if a country doesn't have these kind of collections, then it doesn't have a past or a memory, and I think that's really dangerous. Each and every one of these collection items, the whole Mitchell Library collection is in its own right a national treasure. I don't know of anything like it anywhere else in the world, and it's just the most fantastic thing. Oh, 100, a free exhibition at the State Library of New South Wales until June 16.